just good old fun music we can all groove and chill to. Stay tuned right here on the Iconic Playlist. This is the Iconic Playlist. Alrighty, so today I'm doing a video about an artist I added to my collection August of last year. It was late, late August, I think, of last year when I had it in my CD haul of that time. This is Tupac, which is still when I was early on in my rap collection because I didn't really have a ton. Because the thing is, I'm just not really into the majority of what rap has to offer, especially in the modern days. Now, there are some artists that I pick and choose from, what things I like. For instance, you can see on this channel, I've talked about different artists, including Kanye West and so on. And today I'm going to talk about this Tupac collection. Now this is the only thing I have of Tupac in my collection. I'm pretty sure there's a volume 2 of this album of his greatest hits because that's all I'm really concerned about having. I would like to pick up the volume 2, that is for sure. I'm pretty sure that exists. I think I've seen it before online. But today we're going over Tupac's greatest hits, volume 1. So the first couple songs in this album are kind of what just like, they're, they're decent songs, they're fun for what they are, but they're kind of like throwaway songs in the sense of meaning or anything like that. They're just fun songs, like Two of America's Most Wanted, California Love. You know, they're fun songs. I like what they're doing musically. They do sound interesting and cool, and they're not, like, bad or anything. That They just don't have the deeper messaging or meaning or storytelling that I personally prefer. Now, the rest of these songs pretty much all do have that, and it's honestly some very, very deep and impactful music of Tupac talking about his own life or situations that he was around or a part of in some way. It is very impactful and very meaningful. Rap itself can resemble, and like this kind of rap can resemble, the same kind of qualities that a lot of older country music resembles. And that's why I really do like this era of rap music. Now, there's still throwaway songs, there's still throwaway songs, but there is a lot of impactful artists and impactful music specifically you know in the late 90s early 2000s period especially and that's why i say it uh, reminds me of country music a lot like a johnny cash or you know george jones or whatever merle haggard because they're making stories they're not just making songs or making fun songs sure they still have some but they're making meaningful stories to help or touch people in some way and tupac was doing the same thing but is in his own genre and this is why i don't really have a necessary preference for genres i just want good sounding music the thing is with modern rap is a lot of modern rap now is just full of trap beats and just annoying things and it's like auto-tuned and this is like mumbly and i don't enjoy 90 percent of what exists now for like current day production now there's certain artists I will still listen to and certain artists I do want to add to my collection like Lil Wayne I want to add to my collection he's one he seems like a really cool guy and I want to get some of his albums because I do know I like a few of his songs but that's in the future but anyway for this Tupac album starting with the songs So Many Tears I Ain't Mad At You How Do You Want It Trapped Changes Hail Mary Unconditional Love Dare Mama and Resist the Temptation those songs are so well written for him very well performed i think his style of rap is my kind of style for rap it's not like this extremely fast-paced mumbly auto tuny sound it's natural it flows nicely the music behind it is actually legitimately real music it's actually creatively done stuff it's not just thrown together trap beats like you see now it's actually a construction of a beautiful full constructed melody m musically like everything is put together well you know it's a full orchestrated thing not just thrown together crap and like i said lyrically speaking they're all impactful and nice and good and of good qualities and i appreciate that just like i appreciate a lot of you know kanye's earlier career because he really did that a lot you know nowadays is a little bit different obviously but you know he made a lot of impactful music and i do think tupac's music was really really good and really unique as well even for the genre it has a uniqueness so i do know even at the time period there were some other artists who were kind of making what i would consider more throwaway music and gang music and whatever and tupac really wanted to do something different he wanted to you know display his thoughts his feelings his community he wanted to make it known you know make people who listen aware now some people might take it the wrong way and then want to cause issues in their own lives or whatever i don't know people can take things any way they want to but he tried to convey a message and his overall message was a nice message and was good of good quality and i really really appreciated that and enjoyed that and like i said musically speaking it is just phenomenal to listen to there really isn't anything i'd skip on here 
I enjoy all of these. Now, I don't just like, you know, listen to this collection a lot. I throw it in my MP3 player. And I always play all my music there and I shuffle it. And when it comes on, I appreciate it. I enjoy it. And overall, this collection was pretty cheap too. I think I only paid like $12 Canadian for this collection on Amazon. I don't know how much the other one goes for after even as volume two. I'm just pretty sure I saw volume two. But yeah, it's really good. And I definitely think even if you're, you know, so-so on the genre of rap, if you just enjoy good storytelling, good writing and good quality of music, there's a lot to be had here. There really truly is. Specifically, I think the majority of people would enjoy the Dear Mama song. I think that is has more qualities of just like traditionally done music that I think it's more, I guess you'd say acceptable to most genres and most fans of genres, especially if you like, you know, you know, kind of smoother, poppy kind of music. I think that's like a good entry point for sure, in my opinion. But yeah, I think my overall song, favorite song on here is either Resist a Temptation or Unconditional Love. Those are my two personal favorites. Resist a Temptation is probably my favorite overall because it really conveys his message and i really do enjoy that but yeah i gotta say i was pleasantly surprised when i bought this i wasn't really going in with too much expectations honestly with this i knew of him i knew people liked him and i knew he was revolutionary for the genre at the time and i know he didn't have you know his career in full extent like he really wanted to because you know it was ended shortly sadly he did make a big impact at the time and who knows what else he could have done in the future and the voice he could have been in the future but yeah it's great that this stuff exists it's great that we can still get it get the collections, get his music, and appreciate it for what it is. Different versions, including the edited version, and so on. So yeah, anyway, that's my quick thoughts on this Tupac collection. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more music-related videos on my musical journey in collecting.